So AT&T reported today. I like it a lot. Would I buy it? Not only would I buy it, I would actually buy it today on an update. Why? AT&T's numbers were damn good. Okay. They beat by three cents. You're looking at that going, that's not that much. For AT&T, it's huge. That's, that's a monster report for AT&T. Verizon reported above two. They got slammed, bounced back. I missed it buying on the bounce back. I'm going to try to get into Verizon. I'll let you know. Instead, I bought Urban Outfitters yesterday. But um, AT&T beat, and then they blessed their dividend. So AT&T's dividend might be actually going up from $0.27 cents to $0.30. Cents. If, if, if there's one reason why you buy this stock, it has nothing to do with the upside. Forget the upside, because the upside's maybe $18. You're not buying it for growth. You're buying it for the dividend. The dividend's monster. You're getting an eight percent, a seven percent dividend. Why the hell wouldn't you buy this? You're hedged by the dividend. I would you rather you buy it at sixteen, but if you buy it at seventeen, it's not altogether a bad idea. The company is in a strong position, and that goes double with Verizon. Remember, I said Verizon's a buy. If you missed it yesterday, you can still probably buy it today. So, because of AT and T's results, it's going to sort of trickle over to Horizon. You know, they're both, you know, birds of the feather flock together. Verizon and AT&T are virtually the same company. Verizon pays a dividend of 6.7%, so does AT&T. If the market goes into a long-term correction mode, just like Stephen John Kaplan says, which he says it's a, it's a meltdown, I say it's just a 20% correction, you're going to want to own dividend-intensive stocks with low betas and good cash flow. AT&T meets the profile. So does Verizon. I love Verizon. I will buy Verizon, but I need to see it go a little bit lower. I'd rather buy a 37, 36, but I'm thinking about dipping my toe in the water. If I do, I will alert you. But I want to own Verizon and AT&T because I just want the dividend. It's a hedge against my higher octane positions.